I will start with pearl white of course and I will probably fast forward this part and I will put all my colors in the description so that you will see what colors I used and I will play some music and I'll be back soon. So I'm back and now we will do this in real time. I just couldn't uh, lift my, my cup. Uh, with uh, gloves on, I don't know why. I will just bring some color into the middle you can do it with a skewer or some other tools that you use I don't know it's your choice I love to use skewer so I will bring just a little this yellow of this yellow towards the middle and now I will spray my paper napkin uh, one of my viewers told me that I used to talk about <laughs> Sometimes I talk about nap napkins and sometimes about, uh, about towels. So you can use towels or napkins. It's, it doesn't matter, but um, lately I normally use my paper napkins. So if I say paper towel, uh, I'm wrong. I'm using napkins lately, but you can use paper towels too, but paper towels normally are not as big because this is 12 inch canvas, so uh, I used the paper towels before, but for these bigger canvases I only can buy paper napkins that they are big enough to to do this kind of pour so gently touch to make sure that your paint 
touching the napkin and I hope that I will not get just a big mud out of this. Maybe I can bring you a little closer. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> so, let's lift this baby up. I'm just hoping that I will not get too much green. Oops. Okay, again I didn't do quite a good job with, with the lifting part, so uh, I'm thinking that I will pour some black around and try to bring out my spinner and spin this because I don't like this shape. Where is my spinner? Here it is. Oop, how should I do this? Be be Unless, and I don't know how this will work because I have push pens, it will be okay. Whoops, but I can't help this right now. I have to put it here so that you will see. And I will do this and put my paints away otherwise I will have paint in all of my paints okay this is done I will just spin it lightly first but nothing is happening I think
way. I don't know. Or maybe that way. So let me wipe my fingers a little bit and I like the center. I will not touch it because it's nice. I will just torch it and take you for a close-up and I will take my gloves off first. And I'm quite happy. It's a bright nice painting I think just a few touches that I want to do or maybe not No, I will just leave it probably, but I'm really tempted to just touch this petal a little bit because I don't like it. Okay, better. I don't like this white cell here. I'll just try to. You just have to do this on top of paints, not all over to the bottom of your canvas. You don't want to touch your canvas with your finger when you do that. And that's how you bring a little more paint up and now this one is just out of context context so I will just touch this one a little bit and this will probably it what do you think sometimes I really wish that you could talk to me. No, I still don't like this blue part here. really done. I have mess all around but it was worth it. I will take it down for a close-up. So see it flows over the sides and I have some nice lacing around the sides. I love it. And I love the how bright it is and you see I just bring a little more color here in the middle out. These are the lines that I was trying to get rid of but I couldn't. I should... Um, spin it uh, right away before I uh, tilt it and get over I don't know I just should have spin it right away because I think it's nice rainbow flower it would look nice on somebody's wall to brighten up 
uh, a room I think so tell me what you think about this spinning thing maybe I can spin some other ones this here was really a lot of paint and I'm glad that I didn't get mud I did get a lot of greenery but otherwise I'm happy so consider to subscribe if you didn't yet if you like my video share comment support me that I will be able to continue doing my art and tutorials for you I love you all bye from Slovenia